Hi, this is Joe, and with this video, I would like to show you that uh, you can set up a robot operating systems on uh, Windows 10 without needing for you to install or set up a Ubuntu or Linux operating system. So everything it has done on the Windows 10. So let's get started. So uh, what you need is that okay, first you need a Windows PowerShell, and you need to activate the Linux manager as show you here and uh, next uh, from the Windows uh, store you need to install a uh, Ubuntu okay uh, there are quite varieties of Ubuntu so depends on which ROS package you want to install for my case I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 because I'm going to use a uh, uh, ROS Kinetic distributions okay so Kinetic is a uh, is a uh, one of the distributions for ROS Okay, uh, and you see here there's a picture folder. Later on, I'm going to use this to show you some output. Okay, okay. So uh, without further ado, uh, let me start a uh, Node-RED applications. So that I would like to show you uh, some features of ROS, which I'm going to use a uh, WebSocket, and WebSocket is used to uh, send receive data or we call it publish and subscribe data from your applications to a robotic operating systems. Okay, so now my no red server is started. Just to show you that uh, you can set up or you can send some data from the external application to the ROS. Okay, so here my ROS server, I, I haven't launched it. So now I'm about to launch. Okay, I'm not launching the ROS in the WebSocket. So I'm using the web uh, socket. Okay, uh, the software is called ROS Bridge. Okay, uh, it's running on the port 9090. So the web socket is started. So okay, on the left hand side, you see a no red uh, a demo program. So which I'm going to inject a, a data set, a data which is a payload 1 and 0. Start is 1, stop is 0. So again, next uh, I'm going to send this data to the ROS using the, the this uh, ROS server which is running on my Windows PC and topic is called slash demo. Okay, so again I created, I put in this uh, subscribe uh, notes here. Basically I'm listening to what I sent from here. Okay, this is an easy way. So listen to it. After that I capture what I received. So take note, I'm sending one for the start and zero for stop. Okay, like when I receive one, it will go to this uh, filter. Then I will take take the picture of me, okay, and show it on the the picture folder here. Okay, okay. Now let's get started. So now, uh, as you see here now on the ROS um, terminal, you see that uh, a client, or one client is total is connected. Okay, so let me click start. Okay, so what happens is that, okay, so this ROS uh, WebSocket is not really connected, so I, I need to like refresh my, my node red. Okay, so now I need to start again. Okay, if the WebSocket is not running, I just control C. Okay, so sometimes WebSocket may have some issues, just control C, kill the program. Wait for a while. Okay, then just relaunch. Okay. okay now started. Okay, now wait for the node red to build uh, connections. Okay, now one client is connected. Okay, let's, let's take a picture again. Okay, now you see the topic is not yet advertised, so just allow me to redeploy. So now the client is connected. Let me take a picture of okay, showing you piece. Okay, it's, it's too, okay. You can see a picture of me here. Okay, next, let me uh, publish again. Okay, thumbs up. Okay, you see thumbs up here, right? Okay, now you can see here on the ROS terminal, uh, you can see the how many clients connected, what I publish, and what I subscribe. You can see here. 
for the sub public subscribe I'm using this topic called slash demo okay with that let me stop my video here hope you enjoy it have a good day bye bye